All right, bar numbers, otherwise known as vinculum numbers. Before I show you a bar number, I want to just show you a regular number, 1,628. So this is kind of like saying that we start with 1,000, we add 600, then we add 20, then we add 8. Okay, we have 1,000 plus 600 plus 20 plus 8. Okay, now how this differs from a bar number is a bar number is saying that whatever's, whatever this bar is over, these are going to be negative. Okay, these are negative. So you have, you start off with a positive 3,000, okay, because that doesn't have a bar over it. And then we subtract 500, we subtract 60, and we subtract 8. Okay, so this is saying, you know, we have... 3,000 minus 500 minus 60 minus 8. Okay, so here's another way of representing this that, you know, we have this, this number 392, but the 2 has a bar over it. So the hundredths place, we're saying whatever's in the hundredths place is positive. Whatever's in the tens place is positive. And then here we have our single units. Our single units is going to be negative. Okay, so this is saying, you know, positive 300 plus 90 minus 2. Okay, the single units place is negative. Okay, so this is the basic concept of a bar number. Now I'm going to show you how to remove bar numbers, and then I'm going to show you how to add bar numbers onto a number if you want to convert a regular number to a number with bar numbers. And then we're going to get into doing a little bit of exercises using bar numbers. And I'm going to show you how this can make your arithmetic, arithmetic uh, extremely easy. All right, so getting rid of bar numbers. We're going to do our all from 9, last from 10. Now, I kind of want to point out that when you see a number by itself with a bar over it, in other words, uh, compare it to this number. This is kind of a string of numbers with a bar over it. Okay, this is a string. Uh, this one's kind of by itself. Uh, similar to this one, it's just kind of by itself with a bar over it. Okay, it doesn't have a string of numbers. That when you apply your formula all from 9, last from 10, that if it's by itself, it's going to be a last from 10. Okay, so this is last from 10. Now, to do your all from 9, last from 10, you know that you need to subtract 1 from the number the, that doesn't have the bar over it. Okay, the first number that doesn't have a bar over it, you can subtract one. So here we have four, four minus one gives us three, and then 10 minus eight gives us two. So we're saying four eight bar equals 32. Okay, now you know that's true because remember what I was just showing you that you, that this number basically means positive 40, okay, minus eight, and a minus eight, okay. That equals 32. Okay, so let's look at uh, this one over here, 592 with the bar over it. Okay, so we have a string. So we could apply our all from 9, last from 10. There's a 9. Here's your last from 10. Okay, to apply it, we subtract 1 from 5. So 5 minus 1 gives us 4. 9 minus 9 is 0, and 10 minus 2 is 8. So there you have it. So we're saying that this is positive 500. In the hundredths place, we have a positive 500. In the tens place, we have a negative 90. And in the single units place, we have a negative 2. Okay, 500 minus 90 minus 2, that's going to give us 408. Okay, so this is kind of removing your bar numbers. This is how it's, how it's done. So let's look at this one over here. It has kind of a string of bars, a string of bar numbers here. Okay, it has a string. So we just do our all from 9, last from 10. Okay, to apply all from 9, last from 10, we subtract 1 from the first non-bar number digit. That's the 6. So 6 minus 1 gives us 5. 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 2 is 7, and 10 minus 8 equals 2. Okay, so removing the bar numbers, this is what we get. 
Uh, here's another one. Let's work on this one. So you see that there's kind of it's kind of split apart here. Okay, you could do this. You, it doesn't have to be all one long string. You could have it broken up into different different numbers, different areas. So to do this one here, we're, remember we're going to call that if you have a number by itself, it's last from 10. Okay, this is your all from 9, last from 10, that when a number is by itself, it's considered the last from 10. Okay, then all from 9, last from 10 on this second string of numbers. Okay, to get rid of this bar number, we have to subtract 1 from 8. So we get 7, and then 10 minus 1 gives us 9. Okay, that 8 could come down. Now we have to do the same thing again. We have to subtract 1 from this digit and then apply our all from 9 last from 10. So 1 minus 1 gives us 0, 9 minus 9 is 0, and 10 minus 8 is 2. So these two numbers are equivalent. Okay, so when we're, you're doing arithmetic, sometimes you come across a number, let's say you're doing some multiplication, and you know you have a couple big numbers in there, you don't really want to work with these large numbers. Okay, these numbers are reasonable, they're easy to do your multiplication, but you know you get bigger numbers when you, you, you start multiplying by you know large uh, numbers above five, you know, for example, 878. So we want to put a bar number uh, above this 878 to make this reasonable. So what we got to do is now instead of subtracting one, since we're creating bar numbers, we're going to add one. Okay, so 13 plus 1 is 14. Okay, and then we're going to put a bar number. Okay, essentially we're going to be putting a bar number above these numbers here. So that means we're going to be doing our formula all from 9, last from 10. Okay, so 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 10 minus 8 is 2. And remember, these have a bar above it. So this number, 13,878, equals 14,122 with a bar above it like this. Okay, we just converted a regular number into a number with bar numbers. Okay, it's just basically doing the opposite operation. We're going to be adding one, and then all from 9 last from 10. Okay, so here we have a number. We want to get rid of the large numbers, okay, the 7, the 8, and the 9. Okay, so we want to, you know, we want to put bar numbers over these three digits here. So once again, to do the bar numbers, we're going to do our all from 9 last from 10. Okay, if we see a number by itself, we want to convert this to a bar number, but it's by itself. That can, can be considered last from 10. Okay, this other one, we kind of have a string of numbers that we want to convert. So we could apply our all from 9, last from 10 this way. Now to convert to bar numbers, remember, now we're going to add 1. Okay, because we're converting two bar numbers. So we're going to convert, we're going to add 1. So 21 plus 1 gives us 22. 10 minus 7 is 3. That 1 comes down. Now we need to add 1 to this digit here. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, 9 minus 8 is 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. Okay, now remember, this has a bar over it, and this has a bar over it. Okay, so our number, they're equal. Okay, so here's the last little thing I want to point out before we start doing our operations that, you know, what happens if you have these numbers that you want to change to a bar number, but the number's way out here in front. Okay, so remember, we're going to do our all from 9, last from 10. Okay, once again, this number is by itself, so that's considered a last from 10. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you want to just kind of add 1 to this space here, this empty space. Okay, so that's considered 0. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. Okay, 9 minus 8 gives us 1. 9 minus 7 is 2. 
10 minus 9 is 1. Okay, then these two numbers could come down. Then this 3, remember we have to add 1 to this 3. 3 plus 1 gives us 4. 10 minus 8 is 2. Don't forget where these bar numbers are going over. Okay, so these two numbers are equivalent. Okay, we're taking a normal number and we're adding bar numbers to it. We're kind of introducing bar numbers to it. This is how it's done. Okay, so let's show you how bar numbers can make your multiplication really easy. We're going to be using our Vedic math word formula vertically and crosswise to be doing this multiplication. But before we do the multiplication, we're going to convert to bar numbers to make it easy. Okay, so let's convert 399 to a bar number. Okay, that's going to be 4, 0, 1 with a bar above it. Okay, adding 1 and then doing your all from 9, last from 10. Okay, 287, that's going to be a 3, a 1, and a 3. Okay, once again, doing your all from 9, last from 10. Okay, now this is going to be a lot easier to do the multiplication. So let's do our vertically and crosswise. So negative 1 times negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 3 gives us a positive 3. Next we have zero negative 0 times negative 3 plus negative 1 times negative 1. So 0 plus 1 gives us 1. Okay, next we have 4 times negative 3 plus 1, negative 1 times positive 3 plus negative 0 times negative 1. So negative 12 plus negative 3 plus 0. So negative 12 plus negative 3 is negative 15. So we're going to write 15, but remember it's negative, so we're going to put bar, bar numbers above it. Okay, then vertically and crosswise, we have 4 times negative 1 plus 0 times uh, 3. So 4 times negative 1, that's going to give us a negative 4. So we're going to write it like this, 4 bar. Okay, last step in our vertically and crosswise, we have 4 times 3, positive 4 times positive 3, that's positive 12. Okay, now remember we do our carries this way. So it looks like we could start from the left. We have 12. Negative 1 and negative 4, that's going to give us 5 bar. Okay, then we have another 5 bar and a 1 and a 3. Okay. So now let's take these bar numbers off. To do that, we subtract 1. So we have 11. Apply all from 9, last from 10. Okay, so 9 minus 5 is 4, 10 minus 5 is 5, and then 1 and the 3 come down. So here's our answer to our original problem. Our original problem was 399 times 287. Here's our answer. Okay, let's do another one, a shorter problem. So let's convert these to bar numbers. So we have 2, 1 bar, and 3, 2. 2 bar. Okay, multiplying these together, negative 1 times negative 2 gives us a positive 2. Then our, uh, crosswise, so we have 2 times negative 2 plus 1 times negative 3. So negative 4 plus negative 3, that gives us negative 7, which is a 7 bar. And then 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so we get our answer 6, 7 bar with a 2. Now to take this bar off, we're going to subtract 1. Remember, it's a number by itself, so that's your, all from your last from 10. Okay, 10 minus 7 is 3, and the 2 comes down. So here's our answer. 19 times 28 equals 532. Okay, so now let's use bar numbers for a simple subtraction problem. Okay, so to do this, let's start over here at the right. Okay, 2 minus 1, we know that's 1. Next one, we'll say 1 minus 2. Well, we can't do 1 minus 2, so let's do the opposite. Let's do 2 minus 1. Okay, 2 minus 1 gives us 1. We're going to write 1 bar. 
Okay, again, 2 minus 1, that's going to give us a 1 bar. 6 minus 3 is 3. Okay, we can't do 8 minus 9, so let's do 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8, that gives us 1 bar. Okay, 8 minus 5, 3 bar. 8 minus 6, 2 bar. 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, so we get 2, 2, 3. There's a bar there. There's a bar on the 1. There's a 3, 1, and a 1, and a 1. Okay, so this is kind of what we got for our, our answer. So now we need to take the bar number off, and we'll get our final answer. So to do that, we do our all from 9, last from 10. Okay, so to do that, subtract 1, 9 minus 2 is 7, 9 minus 3 is 6, 10 minus 1 is 9. Okay, we need to subtract 1 from this 3. Okay, because here's our all from 9, last from 10, another string of it. So 3 minus 1 is 2, 9 minus 1 is 8, 10 minus 1 is 9, and that 1. So here's our answer. Okay, so this is another application for your bar numbers. Now, there's other applications as well in division. Um, you, could, you, you kind of find these bar numbers all over the place in Vedic Maths. I'm not going to get into it all now. I just kind of want to show you the basics of bar numbers, how they work, how to convert bar numbers, how to take bar numbers off, and just two uses of that, this multiplication and subtraction. Okay, you made it to the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching. Please press the like button down below. If you want to leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. And if you like these type of videos, you want to see more, simply subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.